Hi everybody, it's Elsa from Beauty. I'm gonna be filming uh, virtual kisses tonight and we're doing kind of a kawaii theme. This is why I've got this on today. Since it's kawaii theme, I'm gonna have like a lot more bright, fun look to this. The reason why I'm shaking these, it's lip scents. In here, there's no binders or chemical stuff to keep all your pigments together. Um, your pigments can separate. So they put like a little ball in there and you gotta shake it up, mix up your pigments, get it all mixed up good. Felissa Masasizi. There shows your two colors. I'm going to take the darker color first and I'm going to kind of start with my lip line. And I also, I don't make a prominent cupid's bow. I actually go straight across, kind of um, taut my lips. I go from the top of this cupid bow and I just draw, okay? I kind of fill in the cupid's bow. It's kind of rounded. Trace my lip line here where it is. Okay, and then I'm going to trace here. But I do overline under. Here's our dot about here. So I'm gonna take this darker color and I'm also gonna, this is like shading. So I'm wanting my lips to look plumper, bigger than they are. You can always use bigger lips. So I'm gonna go on the outside. Like not, not here, you want the center uh, light. Okay, so there. I'm going to do it one more time. Now I'm going to take that really light color. It's Sassy Z and it's pinker. So when you do two shades, kind of have that kind of a difference of your shades. Thin layer and over the entire thing. And I'm going to let that dry because it's, uh, you don't want to touch it until it dries. I'm going to put one more layer and that should be my color for my lips. So that is it for lip color. I do have like just a foundation base and I did my eyebrows and the eyebrows to match my wig color today. I did Mocha Java. I just used the wand, I went over my hairs and then I just used a tiny little brush, you know, and then I just moved it around. There you go. So I'm going to start with this snow color, which is white. Start applying it on, like I want this part bright. So it's going to look like a lot. I go on the inside here because it's just going to brighten the inner eye. And I'm just going to tap it out. Blend. There, you want to blend. It's like you want that to look soft. If, like for me, I put a little bit too much. So then you want to just take a clean brush. And then you can just clean it up. So remove it where I don't want it. Like an eraser. In your drawing. All right, I'm going to take the leftover of this white. I'm going to go underneath my eyes and that's just to brighten it. I'm not adding any product. I'm just using the leftover. We are going to put a sticker heart here. They're my stencil. There. So I'm going to take a big blush brush. The color I want to use is, uh, it's a blush. It's called Pink Berry Blush Sense. Okay, so this is very pigmented. So if you can see right there, I just kind of brush some onto the brush. I'm going to stamp over these hearts because I'm going to be taking off those stickers later. Like I want to round out. So because Kawaii is kind of like rounder and cute look. I'm going to put it higher up, like almost right below where your concealer would go. I'm going to run it right across the bridge of my nose and actually connect it. So it's like a sun kissed look. Just running it right across. I'm going to also use this pink on my eyes now that that's dried, the shadow sense is dried. Take some pink, put it right in here. I'm gonna wing it up here. Make sure I blend. So where I'm going is like right where my socket is, right there. And it's kind of like a um, half moon. And because I laid down the white shadow sense, it's gonna be a lot more pigmented or brighter um, because that's what I was going for. And I'm just gonna kind of blend it in right into that area where I just showed you. The Okay, so we're just going to blend this, going up here, imagine that there's a line. And I'm going to come back and just again, just blend back and forth. So there we go. That already is a lot brighter. Oh, my lips are ready. I put my lips together and they stuck. Okay, that's what happens to lip sense if you do that. You have to wear a gloss. <laughs> so I'm going to wear a matte gloss. I don't want glossy today. Pink matte. This is one of the matte glosses of Cinegents. If you don't add a gloss to this lip sense, it 
that's what happens your lips will stick together um, but now it's gonna seal it in my lips are on I'm gonna take this fluffier brush bigger fluffier brush I'm gonna go in with my transition color I'm gonna use garnet open up here and I just take it right from the wand here I just brush a little bit because it does not take much I also have a palette here okay and then I'm just gonna dab to make sure that I'm dispersing the color so that you don't have one big glob when you put it on your eyeball but I'm going to take it on the outside and I'm going to come in so it's like making a V right into that socket area that I showed you guys and this is just going to kind of give a transition a nice gradated blend from that pink into like flesh color here okay if you want darker color you have to just keep coming back and uh, tapping it on tap and then you blend with this because it's a liquid it's a liquid eyeshadow what I always have to do is I always have to look straight at myself into my mirror so my mirror's over here look straight and then just kind of adjust it so I am creating more of like a V here and I'm just kind of moving it in like little little circles as I'm blending the other side so tap again a little bit of product tap it out and up here and in again and then the same windshield motion you need a lot of patience for this it's better to put too little than too much because it's kind of hard to erase makeup especially this kind of makeup that stays on so it's just better to work in little stages and just keep adding and darkening slowly as you need more product. So here, so I'm just taking a tiny, tiny little brush and align my eyes with that same pink blush sense. And I'm just going to intensify it. Like I'm going kind of not right at my lash line. I'm kind of even leave, leaving a bit of a space. Because I want my eyes, my eyes are smaller, I have to give it the appearance of being bigger. Um, I am going, like there, if you can see there's a space between my actual lash line. And then I'm going to connect it. To I'm going to come back in with that Snow Shadow Sense, which is the white stuff. And I just want to tap some of that back in um, to areas that I want to kind of brighten with my eyes. So I'm just going to take it off the side again. Tap it on my canvas. And I want to do my inner, inner corners here. So now that I've got my shape down, see it's just going to brighten the inner of my eyes and right in here. I'm going to bring that right into the bottom to connect it to, because I only went halfway or went three quarter way with the pink all the way to the end. I'm going to go from the inside now and connect it. Uh, and this is again just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger so here the inside and then I'm going to tap it and I'm going to go in here and connect it to the part of the pink here where I lined my lashes with that uh, garnet again and the fluffy brush. I'm going to just do one last uh, touch up because you have to usually let your colors dry in between. So now that I see what it looks like and I it's dried, I'm going to take this in and I'm going to hold, I hold my brush from far away for this point because I want to have a light hold. And I'm just going to go now to intensify the look. See this eye to this eye? It just kind of uh, finishes it off. Same thing, hold it at the end of your brush. Because then you're not applying so much pressure and you're not putting too much product. You're just kind of lightly dusting. Just dusting the color on. Okay, that's it for that. And now I'm actually going to use this pink to contour my nose. Most people would use like, I don't know, uh, an actual skin color. But again, this is kawaii. So I usually do pink and purples. I'm going to come in like this and right in from underneath here, like the eyebrow. I am do that 
I'm shaping now and I want it to end about here like the top bridge of my nose I'm gonna here I'll draw a line that's where I want it to end like going to a V here so I'm gonna draw the line here and shade downwards not shading upwards line down here So right here, you're going to draw like a little square. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to take that same color and shade it all the way down. So there we go. So it looks like had a lot of sunshine and I'm burning up. But whatever, that is the look. Sometimes I add a little bit of color just to balance here. The leftover of that garnet that brown garnet color that I was using to dust my eyes, I'm going to now dust down my nose um, just to blend it a little bit. Go across the bridge and go underneath the nose again. All right, this is called um, Shimmer Sandstone Pearl. See that pretty shimmer to it? This will be like my highlighter and it's a shadow sense again. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to run it down the tip of my here and on my nose. A little bit on my chin and a little bit on my Cupid's bow. There. And now I'm going to put a little dab here and a little dab here. And that's just to brighten things again. So this is Violet from the Rainbow Collection. And I'm going to now trace, just like with the dabbing motion. All right, let's see. <laughs> Yay! It worked. All righty, so I'm going to do the same on the other side. Right on my freckle! I place that like that and I don't like to wear lashes myself or mascara or anything so I draw in my lines with um, liquid eyeliner or liquid eye sense. I'm going to start with my lower lash line because it will let me know where to end. So remember how I I was putting my pink with a space there? I did that on purpose so that I'd know where to draw this line. From the middle of my eye. And I'm just going to thicken that now. Okay. I'm going to let that dry a bit. I'll work on the other side. To the middle of my eye. If you make any mistakes, take a Q-tip, touch it up. No one's going to know. And now I'm going to draw in the lashes. They'll be shorter as they come into the inside and longer as they go to the outside. So one, two, three, four. And then the fifth one on the inside is about the middle. And this one goes just kind of near your corner. Let's fix that one. All right. With Kawaii, they kind of have like more of a downturned eye instead of the cat eye that I usually like to draw or smoky eyes that I like to draw, which go like a fox eye. They don't do that. They're more downturned. So using the liner, I'm going to now connect this bottom part will be where my liner wings out. So it's going to go from there right to... See? And I'm just going to go again. This one, I I line the whole eye. I don't just do it to the middle of the eye. My tiny little lashes are getting in the way, you little lashes. Oh, the trick, too, is if you lay your, your brush flat, it's kind of more of a stamping. Instead of point drawing it, it's a lot easier. It will transfer the the color down, see? And then you just kind of use the tip to drag it. 
there. So that should be drying. I'm gonna get my. Ugh. Get a fan, speed it up. Okay, so. See the difference? I'm gonna connect this other eye now. It just kind of finishes your look and makes my eyes look so much bigger. All right. So from this end again. Oh, another thing is if you like, <laughs> I'm going to film up my nose and look down. It's a lot easier too, because um, especially for monolids, you don't want any of the folds of your eyes touching up. It's going to transfer. So I stamp it flat, looking down. And I'm going to just use a tip to drag any color that's outside of my line here. So you use a tip to fix and then put it flat to stamp. Now, problem that everyone always has usually is Matching. These suckers have to match. I'm just going to clean this up with a Q-tip again. I'm going to draw a little bit of the upper lashes as well. So what I do is I just kind of like just lay it flat. See that? Kind of go in the same, like an arrow. And I'm going to do that on the other side. All right. What do you think? I should probably trace my heart, hey? Because it, it doesn't really show that same purple that I had. A tiny little brush. I'll just stamp it so I don't screw it up. Shows up a little bit better, right? Than that side. Now it looks like a heart. I probably would have just left the stickers on if I knew. Okay, I'm going to take that same purple. I'm going to buff this out after. It won't stay. I'm going to shorten it a little bit and make it a little bit smaller. Put it straight up here into here. So now that I've already kind of put my highlight down and my medium tone, I'm coming in with just my detailing. So I just want this little button to get a little bit smaller. We don't need such a big button on my nose. Just a little bit smaller. Okay, and then... Something that I use for my light color. I'm just going to soften my lines. So I'm just buffing out the lines a little bit so that it's more like a suggestion instead of little lines. There we go. I went and I bought, if you want to like tame your brows and make them all nice and groomed and clean, um, I went out and I bought this. It's called Got To Be Grooming Wax For Men. It's actually for like their beards and stuff. So... Okay. And what I do is I just take like a spoolie, like a clean spoolie that has no product on it. And I just dab it into this gel so it looks like that. I dab it into the gel and I rub it into the lid here. And I kind of work it into the spoolie. So I turn the spoolie as I press just to get the product all through the spoolie. And then I actually use it to brush up the way I want my brows to stand. So see already how it's standing there? It's meant for hair anyways. It's meant for men's beards and mustaches, so it should be okay. So there we go. I'm just taming my brows the direction I want them to go, which is kind of fuller. Give myself big bushy eyebrows and then tame the ends. There we go. So that is my trick 
my tip of the day if you're into um, brows uh go and look and see if your husband's got any mustache wax or beard wax or taming stuff this stuff works i used to do um hairspray onto like a little brush and brush my eyebrows like when i way back when i was 18 19 i did that with my brows like all the time so uh, i prefer this method a lot better and if you look closely my brows are sticking up and staying and they're groomed now just like nicely and i don't feel like i've got guck stuck on me so yeah so i hope you enjoyed this look and thanks for taking the time again to watch all right so till next time uh bye from else from your beauty bye